What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be escaping a tank that we've had for a little while. If you've been following along for the last few videos, you know that we had trouble in this tank and we got this tank set up and it's almost complete. And we also had trouble in this tank here but everything's doing fine. The objective on this series of videos is to get the three tanks that I do have running and complete with ideal setups. Like in this aquarium, we added a bigger heater and more filterage. We are gonna be adding more equipment to this aquarium, but that's for another video. This tank here is almost 100% complete. I wanna put some real plants in there and a UV sterilizer, but other than that, everything is great. But I said three tanks, and if you've been following along, You'll know that I have the five gallon tank that I was using as a quarantine tank. It's this five gallon marine land portrait. Got some rocks here. We also got some fancy pieces of driftwood. Check this out. That's a piece of driftwood right there. A piece of egg crate here. We're gonna lay that down in the bottom to put the base rocks on. And we got all these rocks here. They're all the same. I collected these rocks and the driftwood. I did not buy any of it. And we also have this black sand here. I like it. It's gonna look good. So I didn't want the whole video to be just b-roll footage of me setting up this tank so now I'm just gonna show you. I wasn't expecting to get them this early but I actually got the stocking for this tank here so I want you to pause this video and comment down below what you think I got before you continue. Got you you little cheaters. You thought I was gonna show you the tank right now but first we have to see what's going on around because you know you're wondering what this pink light is. There are plants that were outside where I usually edit my videos inside and they got their plant light on. And we took a bunch of cuttings off of these pothos or pothos as some people call it. I'm one of those people. And we put some right here coming out of this tank. Also new in this tank, we got some peace lilies here that are floating right now. We got some red azola, I think it's called floating plant. We also got some Italian Val. We got this Geophagus in here, Geophagus Savini. We also got this Honduran Red Point as well. And then we got this Vieja Melanera. And we also have two Blood Red Parrots. I'm not too sure where the dairy is. There's the other one. We also have three Clown Loaches that are in here now. Can't wait for these guys to get big. We also have the usual suspects in there. We got Toast. Got the banjo catfishes that are in there, the crayfish, the acaras, the same things that have been in there. Here we got the 36 gallon, which also has a ton of pothos in it coming out the top. And it also actually has a red mangrove that we got growing in the back. You can see that coming down right there with its root system. Um, nothing's really too new. We did 
get a new red Frontoza. Not that we didn't have an old one. I just wanted two of them. But yeah, that's basically what we got going on there. And now if you tried guessing what's in this tank, you're gonna find out. Here we are guys. We're at the five gallon. You're gonna have to excuse my kicks, all berries and charms. But this is what we got going on here. Again, we have a bunch of pothos coming out the top and we have some little accents going on here and a money tree. This is not called an accent. I don't know what this is, but I call it an accent. And inside we got some mysterious, I think this is guppy grass that just showed up. We also have a bunch of Anubius Nana Petite in here as well. And we also have this guy right here, which is a Scarlet Temple. We got some frog bit, some duckweed, and I forget what this red stuff's called. I just said it earlier in this video, but yeah, it's in there. It's doing good. I'm using Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op to fertilize this aquarium. And I also do have a Fluval 45 gram CO2 system on here as well. As for the stocking, I got seven Caradina Crystal Shrimp in here. I'm not sure where all of them are. You never see them all at one time. There's one hiding up there, two hiding up there. As well as I do have some Galaxy Rasboras or Celestial Pearl Danios. They're all hiding right now. Oh, no, there's one right there. There's about five of them in here. We're gonna get a couple of more. There's also a coolie loach that we're never gonna see, and there's also a hill stream loach. It's not a reticulated hill stream loach, it's a tweeds hill stream loach. Kinda similar, just smaller fins around the edges, not so stingray like. So that was my Marineland five gallon portrait tank build for Celestial Pearl Danios and Crystal Shrimp. And that's the last you're gonna see of it for a few months because I want you to see the difference in the aquarium co-op Easy Green and CO2 fertilizing this tank and providing nutrients. See you guys in the future.